What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Couch Quickies. I am your host, Omar, with my co-host, Nadia Moham. Say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. And today we have a very special guest, uh, one of our really good friends, and uh, the co-host on with me on the Gumbo Pod podcast. Uh-huh. That's what his else podcast. Does he do? He's also a chef. <laughs> All right, you gotta you gotta bury the lead. You, I don't want to just start with that. That's like the you know. I feel like gonna, you were gonna skip it. No, why would I do that? You came out the gate quick. I was oh like, my god! <laughs> just let me get through this woman. Anyway, <laughs> but Chef Nigel Henderson. Beep, 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 beep. What's up, y'all? How you doing? Eh, eh. <laughs> so uh, we invited Nigel on for this episode. Why? Because today we are talking ditch bugs. That's right, <laughs> crayfish. Freshwater lobsters, crawdads, mud bugs, you, yabbies, you, yabbies, you, you gave, like, <laughs> yabbies. The, the other mud bugs. <laughs> That's right. If you can't tell by the sweater that uh, Nigel is wearing, we are talking Shameless crawfish plug. today. Shameless and why plug. are we doing that? Because apparently, right now it's peak season. Am it, I correct? It's not peak season, it, but it's crawfish season. Well, there you go. Okay. Right now, the prices are going down, so you know it's, it's, it's <laughs> so it's real. It's season. really about to be peak season. <laughs> you don't want to pay. Oh, five, no, seven dollars a pound. Oh, what do you yeah. want to pay? Yeah, three, four dollars a pound is, is better. Okay, but okay. We're in LA, so it's it's a risk. All right. Okay, so where, hold on, well, we wait, need wait, to wait. start the clock. We haven't started the clock, but at the same time, we we have our drinks, but we need oh, Nigel we do, to have his drink because he's a guest. Yes. And as everybody knows, if you're a guest on Couch Quickies, you get the, what's the, what's the mug called? Jamaica, no problem, cuz. Hey, hey, researcher Mark <laughs> hooking. <laughs> Hooking it up with the Jamaica no problem mug. I can't do this, guys. This is rude. This is this everybody's is, done it so far. I'm not everybody. Everybody's no. doing Alex. Is, <laughs> <laughs> Alex, you're you're. I hate he so. was fine with it. Aaron. <laughs> Aaron, that's hey, right. That's Aaron and Alex. They might like those. You cups. can turn. So, you can turn it. I know. It's, you know, if you get so if you get story. parched, it's right there, buddy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'll need it today. So I appreciate um, you fouling my beard. <laughs> You're gonna need to ask so, crawfish. Nadia, did you look up any crawfish facts? I sure didn't. All right, <laughs> cool. So I will go ahead and read off these crawfish. These, this is what I found, right? And I'm gonna give like a brief rundown, mm-hmm. and you can stop me when you're like, no. Because I know you know. You already started. You, the names you were throwing out there. <laughs> hey, those are names that are used. I know, don't get mad at me. Like, <laughs> you going can we parts? start the clock? Oh, that's yeah, right. We should start the clock. Can we start the clock. Yes, let's Kay. start the clock. Start the clock. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I actually First start. thing I do, she's like, start the clock. You start the clock. Yeah. I could tell, Nigel. I could tell Siri to start the clock. Welcome to our show where there are no rules. <laughs> say what you want to say. Do what you want to do. Let's well, don't, go. Don't call the them clock has started. <laughs> like, you don't know. call them crawdads. I mean, right. you can, but like. You know, you go to New Orleans. You go, hey, can I get some crayfish with some crawdads? I'm like, uh-uh, I'm going to say mud bugs. My favorite one is yeah, mud bugs. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's an yeah, yeah mud bugs. It's time to get the mud bug. You know? <laughs> yeah, see? Mud bugs, but still, you don't use it. Give me some crawfish. Well, yeah, yeah. that's that's what... Uh, the proper way. That's the proper way. But I wanted to give everybody, you know, They're all of the other it. options so that they know. We'll run down the list. <laughs> Again? My personal right. favorite is Yabbies. <laughs> Yabbies. Yeah, nah, Yabbies that. is <laughs> no? from Australia. Oh. Uh, right? Okay. <laughs> Shout out to everybody in Australia mm-hmm. um, that listens and watches. Here we go. So I got ditch bugs. Mud bugs. Mud bugs. Ditch bugs. Same thing. Crayfish, Bang. which I've heard. Yeah. Uh, freshwater lobsters. I've heard people call them that. but mm. Right. Now, mm-hmm. according to you know all the research that researcher Mark gave me, uh, it says that freshwater Shout out to lobsters... Mark. Are much more like in I think Indonesia or something like that. That's what mm. they call them out there. Um, it might be a whole different type. Of you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? But they're enjoying them. And we got crawdads. Crawdads, yeah, I've heard that. And then we started with mudbugs and yabbies. That's that's the only ones I know. Is there anything I've left off that list? Uh, you know, well, well, when people that I know aren't don't know anything about it, they be like, "Ooh, can I have some crawdads?" <laughs> <Or some crayfish? laughs> that's us. Do you know how to boil some crayfish? <laughs> that's like, me. Uh, no, uh, uh, crawfish. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah you got you know we call them crawfish uh you know some people call it crack uh <laughs> you know, right now in new orleans in, in the they're South, just that good everybody's <laughs> like you know i'm i'm seeing on social media everybody's posting pictures of their crawfish i'm a little jealous mm. <laughs> we got to throw a crawfish boil pretty soon yeah right I'm well down. okay so let's let's uh let's start with this now i i found here that it says that 
They uh, originated in the Atchafalaya, or is it Atchafalaya? Swamp. Atchafalaya. <laughs> See? Boom. Look at that. I've been practicing that all day. There's a ton of it's like <laughs> names like that. <laughs> Chapatulas, Atchafalaya. Oh. <laughs> but we don't need to bore you with history, right? Because you know it. But let's talk about all the deliciousness that comes with the crawfish. Because, mm-hmm. you know, you're a chef again. Um, you know exactly how to make these because you've made them a bunch of times. You, you know, had your own food truck in Louisiana. Yep. So let's start with when it comes to the boil, mm-hmm. is that something that you would take pride in as like creating your own boil or does everybody just kind of go and buy like boil seasoning? Most people go and buy boil seasoning because it's, mm-hmm. it's a lot easier to use. Right. I have made it my own boil seasoning mm-hmm. and it was pretty fucking fire. So I'm, I'm trying to lean towards that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, you know, you're making a large amount. If it's not something that you regularly do, you have to make quite a bit to, to make a boil. So right. People buy Zatarans, Louisiana seafood. Louisiana seafood. Excuse me. Sorry, <laughs> I'm moving and chill. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but you know, the main thing is, and I was always told, the liquid has to be as flavorful and as salty and as spicy as you want your crawfish. Mm-hmm. To be. Nice. Makes sense. So um, you know, and then there's things like you want to add citrus to it. You want to mm-hmm. add garlic to it. Uh, mm. I put it like this. Oh, you put lovely. a whole head of garlic in there. Mm-hmm. You boil it. You pull mm-hmm. it out, and you just Pop Ooh. that shit in your mouth. Mm. Mm. Damn. Damn. See? Mm. Tips already. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Already. And then you blast Sandy down to the ground. <laughs> with that <laughs> breath. <laughs> Oof. Oof. I feel like it's a small it's a small price to pay. Yeah, it's small, you know. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people, they, people do it in many different ways. On the, uh, You mentioned I had a food truck in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the dishes that we were really famous for was uh, crawfish grilled cheese. Ooh. And... Um, I created that after going to Jazz Fest and having what is uh, they call it crawfish bread. Mm. Okay. Um, and, you know, Jazz Fest happens once a year. Um, like, the historically, the best restaurants feature their food at the festival. It's, it's live music, multiple tents, but people go specifically for the food. Mm-hmm. And my first time having crawfish bread, it was fucking amazing. Mm. And after that, when I was tr- coming up with recipes, I was like, okay, well, how do, f- you know, everybody loves crawfish in this city. I love crawfish. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if everybody. <laughs> in, in New Orleans. But in New Orleans, in, in New Orleans, yes. Like, I mean, they have crawfish monica. Like, mm-hmm. there's so many different crawfish dishes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's seasonal. So mm-hmm. you don't get it all year round. So mm-hmm. when it comes, it, it's You like, indulge. Oh. Yeah. And you don't get crawfish bread every, any other place. Like, mm-hmm. it's it's one of those things specific to Jazz Fest. Okay. So wait, wait, wait. What is it? It's basically um, crawfish breaked in like a, pa- a puff pastry. And it has cheese oh. and spices and everything. Like, like stuffed? Yes. Yeah, like stuffed. a uh-huh. monkey bread so like, type of not, bread? Not mon- monkey bread. Uh, what did I say? I said uh, puff pastry. Oh, okay. Oh, like oh, a croissant oh, vibe, yeah. 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 right? But savory. Very savory. That sounds good. And it had cheese. <laughs> so, and like I'm telling you, when I had it, I was like, fuck, this is <laughs> I'm salivating. And so, that's how I do it. Crawfish grilled cheese, and then you know we were featured on television shows and shit. Oh, and, I didn't know. know yeah, this. absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah, you didn't know. Uh, Nigel's no. food truck was all over Food Network. Uh, it was. It was a Amazing. couple shows. A show called Rebel Without a Kitchen. Is I don't even know if it's even on Netflix anymore. Um, and then Adam Richmond's Fandemonium. 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 I don't think I seen and that. And Adam Richmond was the guy that used to do Man vs. Yeah, food. Man versus oh food. yeah. Remember the like the yes, OG yes, guy. Yes. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. So. Don't mind yeah. well, I mean, Do you miss on. that? Or do you uh, like doing what you're doing hours. now? Uh-huh. The right. hours were crazy. Mm-hmm. Because you were running your own food truck. I was running truck, the yeah. food truck. Yeah. Um, I partnered with the club out there, and I had the food truck Perfect. every night at the club. Oh. But that meant Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. I'm getting at home at 7 in the morning mm-hmm. and getting back up at, like, 3 to get mm-hmm. everything situated. So Yeah. yeah. As it's, I mean, those, it's a Those grind. graveyard hours. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a grind. A grind. And, and yeah. dealing with drunk people. Yeah. <laughs> like New Orleans drunk people are a different type of drunk people, just like LA folks are different type of drunk folks. We got in fights with people, like people jumped on the truck. Nice. <laughs> drunk people. It was just like it was ridiculous. Man, but. I love people from New Orleans Man. for some reason. I don't know why. I just always am drawn to them. I got Darla, I got yeah. Candace, like everyone Brandon mm-hmm. and, and L'Oreal. Like That's so cool. Yeah. I don't they're know. I'm Houston. just drawn. Don't get in They're from Houston. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. But, they got but they're always, it's always like Houston, Austin, and yeah, then like, exactly. yeah, because you guys are so Houston close. Houston, and yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a quick drive. Mm-hmm. Nice. And um, 
I, you know, my family's from New Orleans, mm -hmm. but my, uh, I met a lot of my friends from my people in college. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. used to drive from Atlanta to New Orleans all mm -hmm. the time for the nice. Bayou, Bayou Classics, uh, the Essence Festivals. Yeah, so that. fun. Well, I got this shirt when I went. Did you <laughs> yeah. Tell us I about did. the shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got it in one of those shitty gift shops <laughs> on Bourbon Street. Lord have Me and mercy. Nas got it. It's a Nadia vintage. It's wearing, a classic. Nadia is wearing a shirt. What does it say? It, it says, says they show they all, show all, oh no, they show they show all, all kinds. kinds at Bourbon Street. <laughs> yeah, they do. We're going to see if yeah. we don't get flagged. Yep. Some yep. Don't all kinds. See. <laughs> yeah. So all that's on my, on your my bucket list to go <laughs> to do that, or no, just no. to go to. Bed? <laughs> She's like, it's on my bucket list to go and show like, my no, boobs. That's not an on Bourbon no, Street. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Nope. To go People to Mardi Gras. Like, yeah, like, no. yeah, Sandy's like, do it, girl, do it, do it. Show him. <laughs> yeah, get her hyped. <laughs> she, it. So She'll do it with me. I, I got I got an actually another question. When you were so you created from from that uh sorry, from that crawfish bread mm -hmm. that made you create your crawfish grilled the cheese. Crawfish grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. And did you ever get to give that to like Miss Chase or like to I Duck? Think? Duck definitely had one. Um <laughs> Some of the folks that worked at Dookie Chase with me, they worked with me on the food trucks and mm -hmm. they had them. I think I gave her one. I can't remember. It's, it's been a while. I just think it's cool if, like, you take something that's so inherently from, you know, North, well, from Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And then... New Orleans, you can say. It. Yeah, and then you come up with, like, your own kind of new spin on it and you get to present it to somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, not, not yeah. that you, like, it was an, a food competition where you're like, your next dish, Miss Chase, is this. <laughs> but, you know, to just be like, hey, look, yeah. I'm putting a you know new spin on something like that's dope mm -hmm. i'll say the dopest compliment she ever gave me was um she was like she called me chicken chef to this day I yeah don't know why but Aww. she said uh she's like nah when he writes his menus they're very they're like they really laid out correctly like he really goes into it and, you know Aww. from a chef to a chef and a mentor to a mentee uh -huh. that was pretty dope i mean she's royalty she you know, yeah she her knowledge base was crazy but like to to even compliment me on anything that i did mm -hmm. that's so. dope it's rest cool. in peace miss chase rest in peace yeah, Ms. Chase. for sure man and dmx and dmx <laughs> damn damn, damn don't give it to you <laughs> damn i know breaking news on our couch quickie um well, it happened today i have another question okay so here we go we're going to continue with these so um, if you obviously don't live, you know, out there and you're out here, where do you buy your crawfish? Like, I usually have it shipped. You have it shipped mm -hmm. straight from... There's companies that you can order it live, have mm -hmm. it shipped. And you you don't want dead crawfish. It's not like crab. You like, you want to have them live. You want to purge mm. them. Because they are freshwater. They do come in out of the mud. They're literally mud bugs. Right. Um, if they're dead by the time you get them, if they're dead by the time you get them, you, you, well, yeah, yeah, it's no good. You They're going to get bad you don't fast. Cook that. Yeah, yeah. You don't cook that and okay. eat that. So, okay. I didn't realize. So crabs, it's okay. Well, a lot of time you'll see the, the crab is already steamed. So if you notice, you'll get the Dungeons uh, crab or whatever, the, or crab legs. Uh -huh. It'll already be red. Uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. They're already steamed and, and ready But to sometimes go. you do see them blue. Yes. Okay. But normally but blue, they're, they're alive, alive or, or yeah. frozen. Oh. Mm -hmm. frozen. So like uh, soft shell crab. You'll normally see that it'll, it'll actually be they'll freeze it mm -hmm, live mm -hmm. and then you you know you'll get it like mm. hmm. did not know so that. no dead mud bugs what about how do you feel about crawfish tails like already peeled and yeah that's i mean that's the that's how we get it to make um the crawfish uh, like for the crawfish pasta crawfish right because it's so okay yeah. yeah that's what i was gonna ask yeah, you when no. you made your grilled cheese i was like so you sat there no, no, no. and you <laughs> <laughs> squeezed that little tiny of meat no definitely <laughs> okay okay definitely not. <laughs> like, you damn. get it prepared from the, the packager they'll have crawfish tails got it and then i noticed you know when i was in new orleans and uh, working in food service we were able to get like super fresh crawfish tails mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. it was it was different it was different mm -hmm. they were plump mm -hmm. they nice. were you know they they were yeah, it was, it was pretty dope. It was pretty good. So the only time that I've tried it was uh, at Boiling Crab. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't have any when I went to New Orleans. We yeah. kind of didn't play the food right for some reason. <laughs> didn't um, ask me about where to go. I know. It's cool. I know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Well, we were with Darla. I thought she would take us to the right places, but... Nah, that was... Your that first mistake. mistake. First mistake. <laughs> does Anyways. She eat, does she eat 
The, no, she doesn't. She doesn't like a lot of spice. Oh, see, so you messed so up right there. So that's where we go wrong. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, where did you? Never yeah, mind. I'm not yeah. Even did I? Uh, yeah. Did I ever tell you the story of when I went and bought like a crawfish, like a boil, if you will, <laughs> from boiling? Yeah, crab? you told. But me. I ate it in the truck. Yeah, you said. I think in one of our our podcasts yeah, episodes I think I've, you I talked think, about. Yeah, I think I've told it on 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 maybe that one and this one. But anyway, I went and I bought because <laughs> he'd never like bought a pound it of crawfish. Because I was like, hell yeah, that sounds good. And then I was like, to go. Cause I'm gonna go eat uh, at by this park. Mm-hmm. Then uh, I went and parked my truck, and I was like, I don't know what the hell I was thinking, yeah. but I ended up just with like a bag of soup and like crawfish <laughs> like, uh, in the car. It's everywhere that was the worst. It smelled like death. Yeah. <laughs> but if somebody, okay, so let's say somebody. Well, wants I to, was asked saying oh, something. All right, go ahead. Keep going. <laughs> about the time that I had it. <laughs> oh my bad. I didn't mean to step on you. <laughs> Damn. I know he's your friend. <laughs> All right, he go. misses you. <laughs> <laughs> and then what else? <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> what I was saying is that I tried it at Boiling Crab, mm. but I didn't know how. I did, I don't know if I knew how to eat it properly, mm. but it just felt like a lot of work with not a lot of payoff. And I feel like I didn't get any meat. Like I was just sucking out of a mini lobster, just juice. Well, you, you, that's why your boil needs to taste good, right? Uh, and okay. I was good with the the juice, the juice, but, but I was like. I could just now, okay, have a so spoon and eat this. Like. For a long time, before <laughs> I moved, was in New Orleans, before I, I was able to have really good crawfish, uh-huh. I was mm-hmm. like, it's a lot of work. Mm-hmm. And then one super hot day, we were at a boil, and I was a little lit, mm-hmm. had a couple beers, and I was like, F it, let me just get a, get a plate. Mm-hmm. Sat there and just went to town and had my cold-ass beer, mm-hmm. hot-ass day, spicy-ass crawfish. It was mm-hmm. amazing. And then mm-hmm. it was like, I get it. It okay. is a lot of work. But it's okay. well worth it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then once you kind of get the hang of it, you're, you're going to be tearing it up. I mean, yeah. trust me. I've taught some people in the audience. Right. Oh, oh there we go. She's nodding her head. Well, we'll see because I'm so lazy. I don't even like to crack <laughs> peanuts. So, well, that's the thing is I know that I know that we're running, we're running, you know, down to to the 20 minutes. Are right? we? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, we still have like six, five minutes. Well, here's the thing. That's why I wanted to transition okay. when you were talking about that. So you wanted to what? Transition. <laughs> transition. <laughs> this is, this is, this is. I want the transition. I want to, I want to transition for you, please. Uh, yeah, I we wanna, need to eat this crawfish. Yeah, exactly. Because you were talking about peeling Shwing. them. So boom, we have oh. a bunch of crawfish and a wet couch now. <laughs> Uh, and Spicy. We, we were like, okay, Dang. look, since okay. we have Can it, you see that, guys? and we want to become experts at learning how to eat these so yeah. that it doesn't feel like it takes us forever. Got it. And we can enjoy it faster. So, why don't you go ahead and give us a quick rundown? Well, we got a mic stand for you. Got a mic stand, you know. And mm-hmm. then you Would could you like, like to cleanse your hands. Yeah, we got a, yes, some hand sure sanitizers it is right the COVID here. Because uh, co- we're all. You don't want to. Uh, Put your fingers in your eyeballs. That's right, Other exactly. Side. There we go. <laughs> so <laughs> Nigel's gonna give us a quick rundown on how to how to get at these. Uh, please, Brazil. It is alcohol. It will dry out. Thank you very much. I thought you were gonna clean your fingers first. Yeah, yeah. Well, why didn't was, you pass it to he, me then? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I messed up. All right. So well, that's all right. Uh, you gotta suck the head. Oh, you gotta, you gotta twist. Oh, pull, suck, Nigel, and then get into that tail. So. I'm sorry, okay. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show you what that means. So let's get it. Okay. We get the crawfish, right? Mm-hmm. See, it has big, big claws. Yes. We're gonna attack those. We're gonna save those. So boom, you get the body. Twist. Uh. Oh, slurp, slurp. It's supposed to have juice, a lot of juice. It's, it's supposed like, to. <laughs> this one doesn't. Juice. It doesn't have a lot of. Juice. Okay. This is a decent one. Where'd you get this from? Oh, we don't have the name. Yeah. I. They're not sponsoring us yet. No, we're never sponsored. <laughs> That's the whole thing of our we podcast. Give, we give shout outs. We're just not sponsored. We do give shout outs. We give them shout outs. But damn, just you like never that. Know. So yeah, boom. You suck the head. Wait. Now, you, okay. with the with the tail, you just want to take all of the shell off. And you can just do that in one little pool, right? Boom. You got all that tail meat. Booyah. Oh, like a little baby Crawfish. lobster. Damn. Okay, Nadia. Uh, do claws. you want to try first? Wait, oh, wait. Still, oh. Yeah. So oh, the claws in a rush. Are actually, they have juice in them. So huh. you oh, to... okay. You just, hey. you just bite it. You just bite right into it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the bigger the claw, you little claw meat. Hey. Mm. So it's the gift that keeps on giving. And so if the juice is good and spicy, you get a lot of that when you bite mm. into it. So go okay. Right okay. Uh, I missed wanna... part of the middle part. Okay. Of this. <laughs> All right. Let's do it together. I'm gonna 
Go. Okay. Let's do it together. Should I go for a big daddy or a little baby baby? Oh, that one. This <laughs> 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 <So> sad. <laughs> I'm gonna go for this big bird. Okay, let me hear. Let me give you a ball. Les poissons, les poissons. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So you, okay. should... so you get hold the head with booyah. Okay. The booyah. The booyah. Oh, the booyah. Twist the tail. What? Okay. Boom. Just twist it. Twist, twist it tail. Just twist it. Just twist it. Booyah. Oh, you, you twisted everything. Oh, off. was that <laughs> strong now? Do oh, you just you know this destroy? I'm the... kind of a beast. <laughs> Jesus, you're so aggressive. Nadia is kind of I a beast. I work out now. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah. So you just ripped the rip cake. Rip you you rip killed everything. Cake. So I mean, that, leave, 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 no okay, what is? Let, let this you don't eat this. Well, it's, it's, it, yeah, it's leave it alone. You, you, yeah, you just alone. drop that and okay. work on the tail. Don't eat that, yeah. guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got baby claws. Okay. You can still get some meat out them things. Okay. All right. There I you go. Suck. There you oh, go. I was oh, supposed to suck. Oh. Well, no, you ripped it apart. <laughs> There's <laughs> nothing there. I didn't suck the head. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, there you go. There you go. <laughs> you literally crushed the skull. I was like, <laughs> it's just how you're doing it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> you just had everything off of it. Oh, God. Okay, it's almost there. <laughs> hey. hey! There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, it's if you were in New okay. Orleans, it's good. It's good. you'd have potatoes, <laughs> you'd have hot sausage, yeah. you'd have garlic, right. uh, All those corn. The hot sausage. Ooh, the hot sausage dewy. makes it like, when you have the hot sausage in there, oh. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try now. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I gave you some secret one. <laughs> yeah, he, you know, I want to see if I picked up what he said too. Okay, I'll hold it for you. <laughs> well, that's why I gave you the napkin so you I could know. help yourself out for a quick okay. sec. Here, why don't you just narrate? Bam. There once was a pot of crawfish. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so. Which one shall he choose? The most <laughs> smallest one in there. It's just so small. <laughs> Why did you grab forever. that one? It doesn't even have claws. Twist, twist, twist one way. Oh yeah, there you go. Suck the head. Ooh. Slurp, slurp. That was good. Spicy. Got a little kick. He door. says he likes it. Okay. Hey, Mikey, I think he likes it. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Wiping. It's getting that first shell off. Yep. I don't like that it gets in my nails. I'd have to wear gloves. That's why you you got to be comfortable when you eat and cry. Are you crying? Mm -mm. You got tears in your eyes. It's wet. Because <laughs> it's a little spicy. Here, give this man a cloth. Not yet. I'm not finished. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. time uh -oh. is up. Do time we have any up. other crawfish questions for Nigel? I do not have any other crawfish questions. He taught but, us. Oh, okay. But what? that was really easy. Yeah. What is um? Is it top secret? What is in the boil? The seasonings? No. Nah, I mean, okay, give us a rundown. There's a many. There's many different recipes, mm -hmm. but definitely salt, um, cayenne pepper, paprika, garlic, garlic powder, um, or granulated garlic. Mm -hmm. That should just disintegrate it. Um, what did I say? A little <laughs> dill. I've seen dill in some recipes. Oh, for freshness. Uh, it gives it a, a you know a herbal kit, mm -hmm. and it's kind of bright. I like that. So it, and it works well, especially if you have mm -hmm. corn and things mm -hmm. like that in there. I like um, that. Now, if you put a sweet potato in your crawfish boil. Really? Yeah, so you get the sweet mm. and the spiciness. Okay. And when you eat the sweet potato, it's like butter. Ooh. It melts. It's, it, that's, that's, you know. So, if you ever come to I'm my gonna crawfish try that. boil. Are you going to put that in there? Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay. And you can buy these... Uh, Nice sweaters. Well, <laughs> speaking of all that, so you could that, sweat in your sweater. Oh, <laughs> I know. And t-shirt. Well, before we go, because uh, we did run out of time, but we don't care. I wanted to make sure that you had enough time to let everybody know where they can find you. Uh, you can find me uh, on my social media handles, uh, Nigel with D Knife on Instagram. Um, my company is called The Feast LA. Um, on it, on social media, you can find me at the, uh, the feast dot la, uh, and and then we have a podcast called mm -hmm. the Gumbo Pot Podcast. Um, That's right, where we talk to chefs and create other creatives about the creative process. Of course, food, um, 
and everything like that. And we obviously get a little tossed while, you know, with some drinks. So, <laughs> you know. And don't you have some cooking classes? I do and... virtual cooking classes. Mm -hmm. um, again, at the feast dot la, you can uh, find out about those. <laughs> uh, teach gumbo classes. We're going to mm -hmm. be doing some more um, themed classes this summer. So, yeah. Dumb. Yeah, Good definitely shit, check them out. Nigel. You'll learn something. You'll learn how to make this one yep. day. Exactly. Yep. Want to impress your friends? <laughs> you hit up Nigel. It? Yeah, hit up huh? Chef Nigel. Are you lit, it's burning it. No, I only had one. I know. I so we're gonna let's go ahead and my mic close this out so we could just go ahead and yeah, so we could eat. Have us a good yeah, old my crawl daddies. Old time. <laughs> 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 All right. So do you want to say goodbye or do I say goodbye? Because I'm gonna drink this beer. How about we all just say goodbye? <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining Bye. us. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And, of course, you know, new episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. We have our YouTube channel. You can find us on We Everywhere Baby Podcast. And you can catch me at... <laughs> What's my Instagram again? <laughs> you can find her at Nadia Moham Official. official. <laughs> and I'm at O-M-R-V-L-Z. Take it easy, guys. Bye. You know what's crazy? I think I 